Did you know that this YouTube channel got over 79 million views in the last 30 days just by posting faceless YouTube shorts? Here's another channel that gained over 11 million views in the last month by posting shorts. If you're also looking to leverage YouTube shorts to grow your channel without having to film any footage or come in front of the camera, the great news is that you can do that in minutes using the power of AI. You can get OpenAI's ChatGPT to write completely unique YouTube short scripts in under 10 minutes and then use InVideo to quickly turn them into highly engaging videos without ever having to learn any script writing or video editing skills. And in this video, we are showing you how to do exactly this in just five easy steps. So grab a pen and paper and let's get started. The first step is to pick an idea for your video. Now, there are tons of ways and tools you can use to do this. But one of the easiest ways to get started is to go to a popular channel in your niche and look at their top performing shorts to see which ideas have gotten them the most views. You want to start by creating videos on similar topics and that's what we're also doing for this tutorial. We'll look at Gohar Guide's most popular shorts and pick an idea that has mass appeal. His videos on exam study tricks tend to do really well and the exam season is coming up as well. So let's go ahead with the idea of a clever trick to study well for exams. Now, once you've finalized your idea, the next step is to write an interesting script that hooks your audience. Thankfully, with ChatGPT, that is super easy to do. If you haven't already signed up to ChatGPT, the process is fairly straightforward. You can sign up with an existing Google or Microsoft account and verify your phone number with an OTP to get started. Once you're logged in, you can see a prompt box at the bottom of the screen. This is where you will give the AI prompts for the kind of script you want. As with any AI tool, how you write your prompts will massively drive the success of your video. An easy way to simplify this is to ensure that you include five key elements in your prompt. These are the type of video you're creating, such as a YouTube Shorts video, an Instagram video, the topic you want it to cover, the length of the video, the tone of voice you are going for, and any specific details you want to add as well as any inputs on scripting style. For this video, we want the AI to create a script around a clever trick to study well for exams. So this is how we can write the prompt. Now with this, we've already taken care of the topic, the platform and the length of the video. Now we need to add some details about the video's tonality. So I'll write And now I want some additional details as well, so I'm going to go ahead and add those. A detailed prompt like this ensures that you get a fairly detailed script from the get-go. Once you click enter, ChatGPT creates the script in real time. It does take a couple of minutes depending on how long your video is. And once you have the first draft, you can read through and see if you want any changes. If you do, just give it additional prompts. I feel like this example in itself can be better. So I'll prompt ChatGPT to give me an example from history instead. From here, simply copy and paste your script onto a plagiarism checker like this one to check the sanctity of the script. As you can see, the AI has generated a unique script that is not picked up from any website. There are two sentences highlighted in red, but they're simply factual information and not plagiarism. However, if you do find that your script has plagiarized content, you can simply rephrase those parts to ensure that it is unique. Now, once your script is finalized, simply paste it into a doc file and you're ready to start creating your video. The next step is to create your voiceover based on your script. This is a crucial step for faceless YouTube Shorts videos because this is your chance to give a personality to your videos. And since the video is not more than 30 to 40 seconds long, you can record it quickly and easily using InVideo instead of hiring someone from Upwork or Fiverr. Just sign into your InVideo account and click on the editor option in the dashboard. Choose Portrait as your aspect ratio and this will open up in video's super intuitive editor. The center area here is the canvas that will show you the preview of your video and below it is the timeline where all of your media will be placed. On the left is the assets menu from where you will choose different assets to add to your video. Now to record a view, you will have to add a placeholder media. 
So we will go to the image tab in the left menu and look for a placeholder image. Any image works. Simply click on the plus sign on the image and it gets added as a media layer. This opens up the voice controls visible right above the timeline. Now to start recording your voiceover, simply click on the mic icon and select the option to record your voiceover. If you have an external microphone, plug it into your laptop now. Otherwise, just press on the little red mic to start recording using your laptop's internal microphone. Keep your script open so that you can read from it while the audio is recording. And don't worry if you fumble or make a mistake, we can easily edit that out later. Now, once your voiceover is recorded, click on add and it will get added to the timeline. Extend the duration of your image so the entire voiceover is editable and then zoom into the timeline to see the waveforms more clearly. Now, in order to trim out the unnecessary parts such as fumbles, repetitions or long pauses, drag your cursor to the point you want to cut and then either click on the scissor icon right above the timeline or press C on your keyboard to split the audio file. You can do this at as many places as necessary. To delete a portion between two splits, simply select it and press delete and then you can select the empty space and press delete again to sync up the audio. Once you've done that for the entire voiceover, it's time to move on to the next step, which is adding your media. For educational videos like this one, you will need clips that make it abundantly clear from the get-go as to what your video is about. You will need clips that match the mood and emotion of the subject matter. An easy way to figure this out is to break down each part of the voiceover into smaller chunks and then find relevant clips for those. So, the first line of the intro says, Are you tired of cramming all night and still getting average grades on exams? For this, we want to showcase a frustrated student cramming and then getting a bad test score. So, we will begin by choosing the first clip, a stressed out student who is studying, for that, we'll go to the video tab in the left menu and search for the same using relevant keywords. Try a few different keyword combinations to see what results turn up. Now, once you find a clip you like, I like this one, simply click on the plus icon, click add on the pop-up window that appears and add it to the timeline. And once it's added, we want to adjust the size to fit the screen. Simply select it on the canvas and drag around the endpoints. Once that's done, we want to trim the duration of this clip to match the voiceover. So I will simply drag the endpoints of the clip on the timeline and bring it to where I want it to end. Now similarly, you want to look for the next clip that showcases a bad test score. So we'll go ahead and search for that using the search results and then add it to the timeline in a similar fashion and then trim it. Now you can see that each new clip gets added as a separate layer. This can get super confusing in a video like this that is bound to have several different clips. So a great way to manage this is to line up all the clips related to one sequence or one part of the voiceover on one layer. And to do that, all you need to do is drag your clip on the timeline and then simply place it next to the previous clip on the same layer. You can even place all your video clips on a single layer if that makes editing easier for you. Now, you want to go ahead, listen to each part of the voiceover and keep adding relevant clips. Generally, you want to keep the length of each clip as between 2 to 3 seconds because longer clips can quickly bore out viewers and they might drop off. Now, once all your media is added, it's time to add the finishing touches that is your text and your background music. The use of text is super important in YouTube Shorts because a lot of people watch short form content with their phone on silent and the text helps them follow along even if there is no audio. So you want to add text for highlighting each point and then even for the subtitles. To do that, go to the text tab in the left menu. You can scroll through to find different text styles that already have animation added to them. Let's look through the minimalist options. I really like this style. So, to add it to the screen, I will simply click on it and it will get added on the canvas. I can then drag it around to reposition it on the canvas. For shorts, you want to avoid placing anything towards the top and bottom edges of the screen to ensure that your text is readable. Now, we want the first line of text to come on for the first couple of seconds. So, I will select the text layer on the timeline and drag the endpoints to adjust its duration. Now, to edit the text itself, I will just double click on the text box to open up the edit window and type out my own text here. We want to say, 
tired of cramming? Question mark. Once the basic text is added, you can use the controls on top of the canvas to customize it further. I want to change the color of certain words to highlight them. So I will select them in the edit window and choose the highlight option that appears right above the word. And then I will use the text color option on top to change the color of the highlight. This looks good. I similarly also want to change the background color of the text from black to red. So we'll select the text effects option right on top of the canvas. And here I will select the background color and change it to red. You can similarly play around with animation, font, sizes. I like all of those things, so I'm going to let them stay as is. And now you want to go ahead and repeat the entire process for the rest of the video. Once you have added all your text, it is time to add your background music. This will make your video 10 times more engaging and the royalty-free audio tracks on InVideo will ensure that you don't get a copyright claim for your shots. To add your audio track, go to the Music tab in the left menu. Here you have a selection of music tracks segregated on the base of mood and genre that you can use for your video. Since we want this to be a slightly fast-paced video, we will choose the hip-hop genre and browse through the different tracks. Once I find a track that I like, I will click on the plus icon to add it to the timeline. Right now, the music is playing at full volume and that is making it hard for us to hear the voiceover. Are you tired of cramming all night and still getting average grades on exams? So I'm going to go ahead and select the music track and then use the volume and fade controls on top to lower the volume so that it doesn't clash with the voiceover. Usually between minus 15 to minus 20 decibels is a good range, but give it a listen before you finalize. Now once you've added all your elements, it's time to preview your video. Simply click on the play button underneath the canvas to view what your video looks like. Are you tired of cramming all night and still getting average grades on exams? Well, buckle up folks, because I'm about to drop a unique trick that will make studying a breeze. Say hello to the Pomodoro technique. It's super simple. You set a timer for 25 minutes and study without any distractions. Then you take a five minute break, repeat this four times, and then take a longer break. Did you know that even the great Leonardo da Vinci used the Pomodoro technique? The mastermind behind the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper used to take breaks every 25 minutes to recharge and refocus. So go ahead and give the Pomodoro technique a try. I guarantee it'll help you ace your exams and make studying less of a headache. And who knows, maybe you'll be the next Leonardo da Vinci. And that has turned out to be a pretty great YouTube short. Now, once you're happy with the results, go to the top right corner of the screen and hit export. We suggest exporting in 180p for the best results. If at any point during the process you face any difficulty or are not able to figure out how to proceed, you can use this chat option right above the timeline to speak to our 24-7 support team. The response time is less than 30 seconds. Alternatively, you can also go to help.invideo.io and refer to the massive library of resources we have on using in video. Now, once your video is rendered, you can download it and then upload it to your channel. And that is how you can create an engaging YouTube Shorts video and grow your channel using YouTube Shorts with ChatGPT and in video.